everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with actually two kits. A couple of my followers here came up with the idea to combine the March Simon Says Stamp and the February Hero Arts Kit together. So that's what we did. Now I did unfortunately agree to 15 cards one kit, but this one's only going to have to be 10, so I'm sorry. Maybe I'll fill it in a little bit later. But let's show you what came in both of the kits. So on the Simon Says side, you have these beautiful stickers. You also have the card bases. So I used all of the card stock that they gave, which was the two greens, the pink, the white, and the desert storm. And then I added some of the smaller cards um, that they had as well, um, or the ivory. You also got some pattern paper. You have 12 pieces and it is double sided. So of course that always makes it difficult to choose what we're gonna cut, just like everybody says. You also got these absolutely adorable pom-poms. You got two ink cubes from Simon Says. You got a Nouveau Clear Sparkle pen, and, which was very interesting, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Now from Hero Arts, you got this beautiful wood grain textured paper, three ink cubes, one in feather, one in nest, and one in robin's egg. Two uh, wreaths, of course the ribbon that wraps the kit in. The silhouette stamps, that's exactly what I saw with this, and some great dies, and a fancy die was part of this as well. And the dies you get cover every single stamp on that stamp set. Okay, so okay, so for the first card, so I cut up one of the pattern papers, um, and I'm going to use the sentiment straight from the pattern paper. Now the sentiment actually says, "Plant smiles, grow laughter, and harvest love." So I'm using my vintage photo and an ink blending tool to. Um, ink around the edge of that sentiment and also the wooden piece of cardstock that I cut just to give it some depth around it is. But for some reason, I've really been in the mood to keep inking my edges. Sometimes, you know, we go through spurts. So I'm going to glue the wooden grain cardstock straight down on my card base. And then I'm going to trim off those edges just to make them even with the base. I then cut a strip which is one inch by five and a half of the brown wood grain from the Hero Arts Kit. Now, the panel that's down on the card base, um, that, um, that was actually cut three by five and a half. And again, that card base is a four and a quarter and five and a half, except this time it's a side folding. I then grabbed my foam squares and I'm going to prop that sentiment. I'm going to straddle it right over brown wood grain. And then I grabbed three stickers from the Simon Says kit. And I'm just going to place them up in this corner. So it's almost like that dark brown strip. Um, it's like a table or a shelf that it's sitting on. At least that's what I made it. We went with it. So I'm going to use a foam square to prop up one of the tools here. And then we will set that in place. Now I want to make sure that the whole thing has some foam squares behind it only because I'm not balancing it up onto the sentiment. So I don't know. So I don't want it to, to bend or fold. So we're just going to set that in place. And now we're going to set the shovel along the sentiment banner. So they're connected now. I grabbed the Nouveau Spark Clear Sparkle, which is like the Spectrum Noir. Um, it is different than the Wink of Stella. Uh, the Wink of Stella just has a very different glitter. Um, this is just a nice shimmer layer that it puts. I'm going to be using my Key Lime and Dark Walnut Nouveau Drops, and I just want to add just a few little dots around this card just to give it some more dimension. Okay. 
And that's pretty much card number one. Very simple, but yet it's got a lot of texture, dimension, and all that fun stuff. So the next card, now this kind of come or just came from the Simon Says side because I used nothing but the papers when it came to this of my wonky stitch die from My Favorite Things. But I grabbed one of the strips that's titled Enjoy the Journey. And then I used one of the panels with the florals you can see on the corner. And I'm going to prop this up using some fun foam. Now that one inch wide uh, double sided tape that I'm using, I get that from Joann's. Um, it's very reasonable. I believe it's from the Sparkle Co. Uh, Mrs. Sparkle Company. So I'm grabbing one of those strips and I've cut that down to the size of what the pattern paper was. And now I'm just going to trim this down to be five and a half inches long. Now this strip looks like it's about just over maybe the five eighths of an inch wide if you're looking to cut that strip. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue to set that down. And then I grabbed another one of their strips. And this one says, make room for what matters. Choose simplicity and keep growing. Learn something new and breathe deeply. I just thought that was fitting. Um, but I do love every one of those words. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing an art journal with some of those words as well. Once I had those set, I'm going to simply grab my Micron pen. And I'm just going to draw lines around the outside of those wooden sentiments just to let them stand up a little bit more. And that is card number two. For card number three, now we all knew that my three favorite colors had to come in. Tumbled glass, peacock feathers, and evergreen bow. I'm going to be using my Distress inks, so they're not the oxides. This is a piece of Canson XL watercolor paper. Now this piece is cut. I always take just a sheet of the water paper from the pad and I put it and I cut it in quarters. So this is four and a half by six inches. I grabbed the feather stamps from the Hero Arts kit and there was three different feather stamps and they were solid. Again, these were all silhouettes. So you saw I put a little bit of ink down, didn't have to have a set of solid coverage. Off the camera, because I would have drenched my whole entire table, I sprayed it. So now when I stamp these down on the watercolor, I'm going to have a watercolor effect. It's very simple, and it's absolutely gorgeous when it's done, because the colors are just going to meld together. Now, I'm not putting too much water on these first few. I do kind of want them to be a little bit solid. So I'm only spraying them maybe two or three times. For others, I may spray them six or seven times, depending upon how much of a watercolor look that I'm looking for when it comes to this, like this one. I stamped that about six times, and that's what you're going to get. You're going to get more movement. You can tell on this one I didn't put enough water. So how do we fix it? Grab your water brush, grab a brush and water, and just move the ink. These inks are water reactive. So you can completely move all of that ink around. So I'm just basically filling up this panel. And you can see from the three different colors that we're only using, we're getting multiple shades. Now I do like more of the blue, so you will see a lot of that. Now I pulled in the sentiment, your kindness is inspiring. This is actually from the Simon Says side. Okay, so here we're pulling in a, a sentiment from Simon Says and we're using the feathers from Hero Arts. I pulled out my black soot distress ink. I put it on a block. I added a lot of water to it. And then I'm going to use, I have a brush specifically for splatters. Um, that sits by me because you never know when I'm going to do this. And I just want to splatter some black through this because my sentiment is black. This way, 
to me, having those black splatters, you're kind of kind of pull the car. Now, the beautiful thing with that, the the, dis the, the distressing is going to dry a little bit gray, which will match the card base that we're using. I use my Penny Black Antique Frame, the largest size die, to trim this out, of course, because the edges look like a feather. Yep. And then I distress the edges once again with some vintage photo. Even though it's brown, it's okay. Remember, vintage photo is just one of those inks. I use a lot of double-sided foam tape for the back of this, and that's what I'm going to use to prop this up onto the card base. Why? Because I could not find my fun foam. Yep, that's why. I'm now pulling in my white blizzard Nouveau drops, and these are, they're clear, but they have glitter in them, so I thought that would add just a hint of sparkle onto the card. I didn't want to put the sparkle on top of the feathers. So we're just going to place those all around. And that is card three. For card four, I was really, I really wanted to use this nest die. Um, it very much intrigued me. So I grabbed the brown wood grain paper from Hero Arts and I used the die to cut out my image. And again, the die is from the Hero Art side. These stamps are from the Simon Says side. So these are the flowers. And this is what this was from the stamp set without the bunny and the chick. This is from the other one. So what I did was I'm using cancel. Canson XL watercolor paper, and I'm using my VersaFine, or excuse me, my VersaMark ink, and I'm using clear embossing powder. So unfortunately, these are going to be really tough for you to see. I pulled out those samples of Daniel Smith's uh, watercolors that we've been getting in our Simon Says kits, and I'm just going to watercolor and fill these in. So because I have an embossed area, it's going to act like a barrier. And the technique that I'm doing here is wet on wet. So what that means is I'm putting water in the area that I want colored that I'm using right now. And then because I have my aqua brush that already has water on it, I'm picking up the color and I'm just dropping it into the water. So the color is going to move in that water on its own. And I'm using two different colors. I'm using one shade at the bottom, and then on the other side of the leaf, I'm pulling in another shade, and they're actually going to mix. For the flowers, again, I'm just putting down water, and I'm just dropping colors within the wells of the water and just mushing it around myself. Um, there's no skill here. We're just let, putting down water, picking up some paint, and swishing it around and then adding another color to get the shading or to get variance in our colors or differences. So very simple. The embossed lines, again, act like a barrier. So it's not gonna go all over the place. You'll be able to keep it very controlled in this area. And you can see how I'm just putting the water down. I'm not even being specific with this. So very simple very easy. This is going to be one of my technique videos that um, will continue throughout 2018. So stay tuned for that and I'll show you that more in detail. So this is what they look like. And once they were dry, we're going to, going to fussy cut them out because I didn't want anything specific. I wanted them loose. These are very, they're scribble flowers, uh, very scribble drawings. So I didn't want them to be exact in the cuts either. So I used my, again, my wonky, my favorite things die. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the placement. This sentiment is going to be coming, or excuse me, came from the Simon Says side. And it says, bloom where you're planted. And now I'm just going to adhere this right down onto my panel. So I used some of my art glitter glue. I just placed some dots. 
because I didn't want to cover up the details that the dye gives. I wanted to make sure that these leaves that were popping up stayed popped up. I didn't get glue behind them or anything like that. The larger watercolor flowers, we're going to prop those up onto some foam squares and we're going to set them on either end of the nest. One last leaf to come in there just to make it look balanced for me. So you thought I was going to put eggs in that, didn't you? Nope. Mm -mm. So we have a nest full of flowers. I'm going to use my tape runner and we're just going to prop that right onto my four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card base. We're going to grab the Nuvo Sparkle Pen and I'm going to lightly go over my watercolor flowers. Remember, this could react the watercolor, so I don't want to fuss with it too much. Fuss with it too much because I don't want the watercolors to move. So that was card number four. So for card number five, I'm going to use my Lawn Fawn Scalloped edge die and I'm going to use the sentiment from Simon Says that just simply says thanks. So we're going to kind of make a Easter thank you card I guess. I did use my Versifying Black Onyx ink and I'm using a solid stamp and this is from the stamp set from Paper Smooches called Mirror Blocks. You probably saw Jennifer McGuire use this uh, when she does mirror stamping. Um, I'm using it just to give me circles. Now, if we've seen my other videos with Hero Arts and their ink cubes, it is such an operator error. I cannot get a good impression from these ink cubes. I do not know why. It's me. It's not them. It's me. So, I'm okay that I'm not getting a good impression on this. And this is exactly what I was actually looking for, for these inks to do when I stamped with them. So I'm just gonna have lots of stamped circles. And yes, one red one. I don't use the red one. And now I'm going to die cut them with the egg die that came from the Hero Arts kit. So I used both of the inks and I used the die from Hero Arts and the sentiment from Simon Says. Now I'm going to use Vintage Photo around all the edge and around the edge of my design panel. Just to, I don't know, <laughs> I was really in the mood to use Vintage Photo. This, it was a theme throughout, the, it was a theme throughout these cards. So now I'm just going to place these eggs around. So on this first row, they're going to go straight down onto the panel. There's not going to be any lift or any height to these yet. So once we get that first row down, then we're going to start adding um, some foam squares to the back. I originally started with my foam squares, and my foam squares are a half an inch by a half an inch. So they were just a little bit. I finally switched over to the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, which were the perfect circle for the back of these. So you can see how we filled that in. So we just have a little pile of eggs. So you can see, not necessarily Easter eggs. They look like bird eggs. So that's why I was going with the stamping that I was. Because again, that's for some reason, I can, never, I can never get it to be solid. I think it's funny tied a bow. I didn't have you watch that because it is painful. And just put that down below the thanks. And again, the ribbon always comes kit. They always have a beautiful ribbon that's wrapped around. So I just used a small piece of that. Found my fun foam. Cut a piece down so that I could put it on the back of this panel so that I could place it on my four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card base. And once that's secure, I grabbed my glossy accents and I just want to go over some of the eggs that are on this panel. So I believe I chose, yes, four of them. And then the blue eggs that you see there, the robin's eggs, 
glue, I'm going to use the glitter pen and I'm just going to cover them with uh, a little bit of sparkle. And you can see they actually, that glitter pen kind of pulled out some different colors. So I think it looks really cool. So these are the cards that we made in part one of the merging of Simon Says March card kit and the Hero Arts February card kit. I had a lot of fun doing this. And you know what? People would say, oh, you have so much more to work with. No, no. It was a challenge to come up with these. There will be a part two. I apologize. No part three. Um, but it's those of you that follow me, you heard the weekend. So we kind of did a lot of cramming. So I do apologize for that. If you do like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. There is definitely now a lot going on in 2018. Everything that I used outside the kits will be listed down below. If you have a question or if you want to leave a comment, please do so. I'm hoping the voice narration is a little bit better than the last video that we saw. I think I got it fixed. Please let me know if you're still having problems with it. And again, everybody, I can't say enough. Thank you so much for following and supporting me. Um, 2018 is going to continue to be a good year for all of us. And I hope I continue to teach you new things and different things to play with your stash. As always, everyone, be creative.